to my carving shed here in Virginia. Today we are going to play with fire. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we have got some gunpowder here and we are going to do some gunpowder skull burning. All right. All you need is gunpowder and some tape or some other stuff. So let's get into it. Very easy to do and produces a really cool result. All right, let's go. Okay, so the type of gunpowder that you need is called smokeless gunpowder, and that's what you're typically going to find in shotgun shells. It kind of looks like a little tiny disc, round little disc, um, as opposed to the type of gunpowder that you would use for black powder guns, and it's kind of look, those look like little rocks almost. Just to give you a demonstration of what a black powder gunpowder is going to look like, I'll show you right here. Woo. And then what we're going to be using for doing the uh, staining, burning, is the smokeless gunpowder. Now the smokeless powder is better just because of two reasons really. First off, it burns slower, uh, and that way you get a better burn, kind of get a better pattern when you're burning on the bone. And then secondly is, it burns slower, and that's good because the black powder powder tends to burn so fast that it actually blows the powder away as it's burning. So this will give you a more uniform burn, and you won't risk blowing away the powder as it is burning. So what I'm gonna try to do today is an American flag. I'm gonna try to kinda place it about right here and we're just gonna tape off the areas and I am going to cheat a little bit and use some stickers, but you'll see how I'm gonna do that here in a second. So I've got me some stickers here, and I know some of you are like, really Hunter, stickers? Yeah, it actually works really well, because basically all you're doing is just any areas you want burnt, uh, you leave uncovered, and then the areas you don't want burnt, you cover up. So since I'm doing a flag, uh, little stickers work really well to leave areas unburnt uh, so that it sh uh, shows through. So you get the idea. Okay, and then once you have your area taped off, just put on a, an even layer of your gunpowder. And because the skull, the surface is not going to be completely flat, you just have to do it one area at a time, keeping the area that you're working on level, and then just working around the skull.
All right, after the burning is done, then just take a brush and lightly uh, go over the surface. And that'll just knock off any of the loose uh, burnt powder. And then the big reveal. Let's take this tape off. Ta-da! And there you have your gunpowder burned cow skull in my case, but you can obviously do this on a lot of different stuff. So it leaves such uh, an awesome like kind of stippled burnt effect uh, that's very unique to gunpowder, very recognizable. So as you can see, I love it. I love how it turns out. I would shoot it with maybe just a light coat of like matte finish clear coat spray on just to kind of lock that in there. And if you want it darker, you can go back over it again before you remove the tape and do another burning of the gunpowder. That does make it darker if you would like. I personally like the look how it is right here. But yeah, and that's it. So guys, have fun with it. Do let me know if you do give this a try. would love to see how it goes. Thank you for watching my channel. i uh, got ne another video coming out next week as well. So stay tuned. Please feel free to subscribe. It's always there if you would like. And to everyone who has subscribed, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Thanks for spending some time with me in my shed. All right, I'll see you next time.